guys this is drunken stuff and I just wanted to say this is my summer slam review I know I'm a day late but yesterday I got really drunk hence the name <laughs> uh, so I want to go through the matches and I'm going to give them a star rating so Logan Paul versus Ricochet was first I gave that three stars. Excellent open. Uh, the second match was Cody versus Brock. I originally gave it four and a half stars. Just because of the ending alone. But five. That was some great storytelling. Uh, what was the third match? What was the third match? Let me see. Uh, I have them all marked down. What the hell? Oh, third match was the uh, Slim Jim Battle Royal. Three and a half stars. Very entertaining. And thank God they let LA Knight win. Fourth match. And this, I got something for the end. I gave it two stars, which was Ronda versus Shayna. Now I'm going to redact that, and I'm going to tell you why at the end of this video. Fifth match, Gunther versus Drew. Drew and Gunther put on a fucking clinic. Four stars automatically. The sixth match, which was. Let me see. Oh, Seth versus Finn. Four and a half stars. Great fucking match from beginning to end. Seventh match was the triple threat match between Asuka, Charlotte, and Bianca. I actually had Charlotte winning, but Bianca... Hey, what are you going to do? And then the cash-in I said was going to happen, and it did. But I thought it was going to go against Charlotte. But still, I gave it three stars. And then the last match was Roman versus Jay. I ain't gonna lie, I had to watch it the day after, and I still stick to what I said, three and a half stars. Would have been better if Jimmy didn't fucking interfere, and they would have kept the storyline of the blowing, but now I think the WWE are gonna probably sign more of the Usos, well, that side of the family, the Samoan family, and Jim, Jay, I'm sorry, Jay is going to have more people, put it this way, there's going to be two sides of the bloodline, any, <laughs> I bet you any amount of money, there's going to be two sides of the bloodline, and it's just going to be just like the NWO splitting, and there you go. And like, right now I'm watching, I'm watching Raw. But I wanted to, I told you I was going to redact Shayna and Ron, uh, Ronda Rousey. Because I just saw Shayna Baszler and I saw her face and I saw her body. I don't know how, how much of her arm and her hand is actually messed up. But that black eye is real. And... Those two beat the shit out of each other. And I'm redacting the two, and I'm going to make it a three. Three-star match, because they actually beat the fucking hell out of each other. So my total score, my total grade of SummerSlam... A minus. It was fucking great. 
It was very entertaining. If you didn't get entertained, something's wrong with you. Wrestling now, right now, is the hottest it's ever been. And especially with the WWE. They're selling out fucking crowds everywhere. And it's just phenomenal, you know? This is almost to the point where the Attitude Era was. This is the closest we're getting to the Attitude Era where they're fucking selling out crowds. So, just keep on liking, keep on watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell. Do whatever you want to. I don't give a fuck. I just do this for myself. I'm an asshole. I'm a drunken asshole. Maybe that should have been my fucking YouTube name. Drunken asshole. But YouTube probably wouldn't allow it. <laughs> but do all those things. A minus. Great fucking show. Shayna and Rhonda, I think, got a bad rap because nobody knew what that match was going to be like. But they beat the piss out of each other. And now I know they deserve the respect that they should get. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Once again, drunken stuff. Peace out.